You're still live on the PM edition of Newsfeed. Thank you so much for staying with us. South Africa's economy is officially in recession. It's our third recession since 1994. The economy and property market have to a large extent already factored this in for a while. Gross, so the new gross domestic product numbers released by Stat South Africa on Tuesday, 3 March, confirmed South Africa's economy shrank by 1.4% in the fourth quarter quarter of 2019. To unpack this story, I'm joined now in studio by Director of Gilletti Corporate Real Estate, uh, Justin, uh, Justin Tom, and Grant Smee, who is the founder of Epic, an MD of Only Re uh, Realty from Cape Town. Gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for your time. Perhaps uh, let me begin the conversation with uh, uh, Justin, who is in studio. Thank you so much for your time. Of course, we've heard the announcement about the recession but how much of that is actually affecting uh, corporate real estate? Look, I think the corporate real estate has been operating in a low growth environment for quite a number of years now. Since 2018, the market did correct itself, went down about 25% in the listed sector, um, which gave a lot of opportunity to the occupiers to renegotiate their leases. Um, and we're seeing that knock on effect now. Towards the middle of last year, in, um, we saw a lot of significant industrial leases done, new development, lease uh, and developments being built. Mm. Um, and that generally has a knock-on effect to the commercial sector. And we've just seen that now in January uh, and February with the net effect of 30,000 squares being taken up in Sanson and Bryson alone. If you look at a node like Rosebank and Midrand, it's quadruple the amount of up uptake there is space coming available currently. Mm. Let's hear from a grant then, uh, insofar as what the announcement means for the property sector in South Africa as a whole. Uh, can we expect you know, prices to just remain under pressure? Hi. Um, yeah, so I do think that prices are going to remain under pressure, particularly in the residential sector. Um, I think, again, that, that the announcement now uh, recently hasn't had an effect and that it's been a long time coming. The market's been struggling for a while um, and it's going to continue doing that for, for the foreseeable future at least. And what environment then has this created, uh, for example, for buyers and what advice would you give to them at this moment? So I think there's distinctly two uh, markets we have to look at. We have to look at the investors' market as well as the home buyers' market. On the investment side and the home buyer, it's created a buyers' market um, where, where sellers are under pressure. There's a lot of stock on the market at the moment. Prices are under pressure. But on the, on the, the opposite side, there's also developers that are developing a lot of stock. Um, so particularly in, in uh, Joburg, north, northern parts of Joburg in the East Rand, there's a lot of stock sitting on the market from a from developer point of view. So again, putting prices under pressure. Yeah, I think talk to us in detail about what this really means for uh, for buyers and 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 um, you know from their perspective, what is it that they should be looking out for? Is this a time in which we just stop and not buy anything, considering um, the the crunch of the economy? So I think um, at the moment it's a great opportunity for buyers to be looking to purchase a property, either their first home or uh, investment properties, um, for two reasons. Uh, uh, again, price pressure on sellers to sell, sell their properties, um, price are, are being pushed downwards. But also there's um, a huge amount of finance available from the banks. The banks are looking to lend um, uh, and um, expand on their mortgage books quite aggressively. So there's a lot of finance available for, for buyers at the moment. And Justice, just back, uh, back in studio, would you say that this uh, announcement would then, uh, you know, further, um, I guess, deter investors on the side of, uh, uh, you know, corporate real estate in terms of, uh, you know, of buying property? Not at all. And I think that we can substantiate with some facts. Uh, looking at our recent history, the last about 10 years, we do about 85% of our businesses in leases and about 15% 50, in sales. Mm. We look over the last year, we've probably had about a 60-40 ratio in our 40% of buyers now in the market. Mm, mm. All right, I think let's uh, leave it there. We've been uh, having a conversation with uh, Grant Smee, who is the founder of uh, Epic, as well as uh, uh, Justice uh, Tom, or Justin Tom, rather, who is the director of uh, Gilletti Corporate Real Estate. You're still uh, watching the PM edition of Newsfeed. We continue here.